what is going on guys jay rico here hope you guys are having a good day today as you guys can see today's topic of the video we're going to be discussing women and only fans guys just to let you guys know if a woman that you are talking to has an only fans you have to cut her off you have to cut her off Go to the next chick, run away. Most of these chicks nowadays, or most of these women that have an OnlyFans, guys, they say or they consider themselves independent, but they are the same ones that are selling their videos for five to ten dollars or so, guys. These are the type of women that you want to run away with, that you shouldn't establish yourself with, guys. Women and OnlyFans. Yeah, they make a lot, they may they may make a lot of money, guys, but at the end of the day, they are selling themselves. It's crazy to me how I actually thought about this. A couple years ago, women would be so so shocked and so scared for them to actually have their sex tape literally on the internet, leaked or so for whatever reason from her ex-boyfriend, from her crazy ex-boyfriend or so or her being all scared or literally crying, saying, hey, no, please don't put it out on, on Pornhub. Don't put it on, 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 on the website or so. But now these women have changed. These women nowadays have changed to literally them actually charging five to 10, 15, $20 or so to see the sex tape that they have made with that one guy. Guys, don't be the actual typical simp to literally pay for an OnlyFans. If you pay for an OnlyFans, guys, you automatically are simp and you are automatically degrading yourself to the type of guy that you, you should actually be yourself. You should literally be focused in the right stuff, focused in the actual stuff that you need to be worried about or so. And when it comes down for you to women, guys, us as men, we work hard for our stuff. We literally do what we need to do as men, of course. When it comes to women and only fans, they consider themselves that they actually have to work hard. But at the end of the day, guys, they are just selling themselves, which is easy work. And especially for an attractive woman, for her to have an only fans and for her to be making ton of money, that's just an easy leverage right there, guys. Don't get fooled by these women that have only fans. The women that have only fans they are known to be for the streets and the streets they shall remain reason being guys is because a hey, these women most of the time are not going to be loyal to you at the end of the day guys these are the type of women that you should stay away from from actual only fans women only fans chicks or so these are the women that call themselves independents that want Good looking guys that want these type of guys or so guys all these women are good for are just one night stands and that's it and that's it one night stands and that's it don't be the guy to pay for her only fans don't be the actual guy to pay for her sexting don't be the guy to pay for her videos don't be the guy to pay for like literally a nude or so guys no go out there and talk to the women that you actually want to talk to focus on yourselves guys and then know what the actual goal is going to be at the end of the day. But guys, these women and their only fans, it's only going to get them so much. Once they, once they hit 30, once they turn 30, guys, it's over for them. It's over for them. Their sexual market value is going to go downhill. It's only going to go downhill for them and it's only going to go up from, from us here for you guys. I'm 28 years old, going to be turning 29 as of this year, guys. I feel like I still look younger than, than my age. But hey, women and only fans is definitely, definitely not the women that you should be chasing or so, guys. These women consider themselves loyal, but at the end of the day, guys, they are going to be the ones that you should be running away from. These women are not the type of women you should literally want to be with or want to hang out with or so, guys. Yes, they may be good for one-eye stands, but at the end of the day, what are they going to do for you to better yourself at the end of the day when they 
already know that they're they're selling themselves for five ten dollars just imagine if a guy were to literally go and ask her two hundred dollars for some this two hundred dollars for some that she's never done it but she's thought about it like yo two hundred dollars in one hour that's definitely not bad at all here for you guys and you automatically know what it actually is going to lead down to guys at the end of the day women and these only fans are delusional saying that they want a high value male a high value guy that is fit that is tatted up whatever you want to call you whatever you want to call yourself or so that is good looking that is in shape that makes over 100k a year or so guys don't be that guy to literally pedestalize only fans women just for the simple fact that they're attractive guys these women nowadays at the end of the day all they're good for is just for them to literally just bend over and get it over with and that's it guy and that is it for us of today's video if you guys did like my videos of today i would appreciate you guys hitting the like down below and of course guys if you guys have any questions any comments in the comment section down below as well here for you guys and guys make sure to follow me on instagram which is gonna be j underscore rico 92 and hey i'll see you guys in the next video take care